What is up guys? Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and tuning in today. I thought um, it would be a good idea to review the new Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter Foundation. I haven't seen it. It's a new drugstore foundation that Revlon created that's supposed to have a smoothing filter effect. Um, it is supposed to be comparable with high-end, at least from the price point, I would think. I know Ulta, I want to say I saw it was $17.99. I did find mine at Walmart for about $13.99, so roughly about $14. Bucks. Um, and I figured, why not? I'm always on the hunt. Biggest, best thing, you know, in the foundation world. So I'm always anxious to give it a try, especially if it's going to be something that's drugstore and it's going to be comparable to a prestige brand. So um, I figured we'd just go ahead and jump right into it and um, we'll do like a chit chat while we go ahead and apply. So we're gonna go ahead and prime our face and I am gonna be using the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. This is this is my jam. I love this stuff. I don't go anywhere without it. Um, I even have like a little travel size one that I take with me since I travel a lot. But I love this stuff because under any foundation, I kid you not, whether it's drugstore or high end, it always does a good job. So I like to use this and I also like to pair it with the Benefit Pore Professional. As you can see, I've used the foundation already. So this is what happened was, I filmed the video yesterday and after watching it while trying to edit it, it was just not quality that I felt comfortable sharing with you guys. So I felt like I would just go ahead and redo it because I just don't like putting out crap. Redo it for you guys and then, um, you know, you can see how it takes to my skin. And I'm not going to tell you how I felt about it yesterday since it's a review. I'm going to let it be like the first time today. comes with like a spongy like like this is harder than a beauty blender sponge this is very like those packs of sponges that you can buy like in the bag from the store this is like harder than that like it's really hard so I'm not entirely sure if they were expecting you to apply it using that but I'm just gonna dab it on using the tip and then you just twist it up and that's how you get the foundation out <laughs> Now, I do know that this is supposed to be buildable coverage. So, um, we'll see how <clears throat> one application goes and go from there because I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't think I've ever used a Revlon foundation. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna use a sponge. I'm not gonna use a brush. And we're gonna see how this sets into the skin. I got the shade Natural Tan. And I'm gonna tell you that this looks very fair on me. And most products, especially drugstore, whatever is listed under tan, I can more than likely match in that shade. But this is, this is really fair, like, whoa. So I'm hoping that this will oxidize into something a little bit warmer, but right now it's, it's pretty white. I mean, it's, it's dull. It doesn't feel heavy though. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It does feel just like a normal foundation. So I think we could probably go with another shade, which I don't normally do, BT dubs. I don't, I don't, normally for me with my foundations, I normally use more than one. I hardly ever use just one foundation at a time because I'm always, like I said, looking for that perfect finish. So this is my face after maybe like two minutes. I just put it all on, but right now I'm looking pretty pale. I'm hoping that it'll warm up. Um, Cause I look really pale right now. <laughs> like I'm seeing myself in the camera and I'm like, whoa, girl. So I'm just gonna give that like a few minutes to just kinda 
melt into the skin. It's kind of setting, it's kind of not. I'm gonna go ahead, add my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I am in the shade Light Sand. This is my go-to concealer. it into the skin I'm not gonna bake because I'm just not so sure about this foundation yet and I don't want it to be crusty <laughs> for lack of a better word take a little bit of pro face powder but so so far I am digging this foundation I will say this is a really interesting finish. Um, I didn't need to apply a second layer because I felt like this was enough. I thought about it, but I didn't apply another layer. So I'm really feeling this. I mean, I, I like it a lot. This is, um, it's got kind of like a natural finish to it. Wipe off some of my contour so I don't look too draggy. <laughs> Yeah, this is like a satin finish. It's different in texture though. I'm not gonna lie, it, it is a, it's a different, it's got a different feel to it. I'm gonna take my Blush by Three uh, Slick Makeup, a good peachy blush. I'm obsessed with peachy blushes. I just, I just love it. And you know who inspires me that has always worn peachy blushes that I've just loved? She never really wears pinky tones is Riri, I love her blush like that for like years, like well before Fenty Beauty even started, like honest. That has like always been her zhuzh and I, I just love it. Something about it, even though it's blush and it's matte, it's very illuminating to the skin and I really, I dig that. And I like to be extra with my blush because I like the whole face to look warmed. I don't like to look like an egg. <laughs> Today, by the way, this hoodie, God is Limitless. This is my cousin's husband, who is also my cousin. This is his clothing line, God is Limitless. I will drop the link for it below. Um, he does have other types of hoodies if you guys are interested. This is super soft, it's super comfortable, I love it.
that this was a decent review for you guys and you guys were able to get a feel for the foundation. I would have to say, um, given my score of the foundation, I would give this foundation a solid seven and a half. This is a strong drugstore foundation that I would say is comparable. The finish is very satin. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I would have to say that it is kind of comparable to the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. It just kind of has that satiny finish and it's almost as though the longer that it stays on the better that it feels like it it doesn't feel heavy in this i know i only put one layer on but i kind of like this i think i might toy around with this for maybe some more of my upcoming looks so i would have to say my 13.99 or 14 dollars would be worth it um if you guys want to check this out once again i'll link all the information below but yeah I hope that I was able to give you guys some good feedback and um, let you know my thoughts on it. I support it. I think it's great. I wish that the range was a little bit more expansive for all women of color as that, like I said, that's that's a real problem. But just, just for all shades and, and tones in general, there should be more colors. And I do recognize that this is drugstore, but for this price point, in my opinion, there should be more of a color range for this price point. Yeah, so I look forward to talking to you guys and seeing you guys again soon. Thank you so much for tuning in. Love you guys. Mm.